Okay, for today's seafood cooking, we're gonna make some skate. And uh, I like to make my skate very similar to how I like to make my fried chicken. So I start with buttermilk, hot sauce, in this case, reds, made right here in Rhode Island. You can make it as hot as you want. And then I skate, which is previously frozen because I buy a bunch of it at a time and seal it up in individual portions. We'll go in here, let me get a paper towel. All right, and then we seal that up. <clears throat> and it will thaw in this buttermilk bath in the fridge for a couple hours while it's also getting all good and marinated. All right. Okay, so it's been a couple hours. I'm gonna take the skate that has been sitting in this beautiful buttermilk hot sauce mixture and put it into a bag filled with flour and a little cornmeal. And tonight I use a little bit of the Ocean State Pepper Company Bayou, what is it called? Bayou Phantom Spice in there. And uh, you'll notice I said like fried chicken. I do a little variations here. Uh, I don't use cornmeal in my fried chicken, but I like a little bit of texture with the skate, and I think the, the cornmeal works well for that. So put that in the bag and shake it up to get the flour, cornmeal, spice mixture all over the fish, and then we'll let that sit for a little bit before we fry it off. Okay, so I've got some oil here over medium heat. Again, a slight variation from what I was saying about doing it like fried chicken. This is olive oil. Uh, not canola oil or uh, peanut oil or something like that you would fry in. Uh, but it's not great olive oil, it's just your standard olive oil. Very, it's actually the olive oil I used to uh, poach fish in too, if you saw that video. So I'm gonna take the skate out and then lay it down here in the olive oil. Didn't do a very good job laying that down, I'm sorry. Normally I do a better job of that, but of course since I'm on video, I didn't do a very good job. Uh, you can see it sizzling a little, it's gonna fry up there. I'll raise the heat a little bit because the fish is still a little cold. And uh, we're going to fry this up about five to six minutes per side. It depends on the size of the skate, depends on the thickness of the skate. You know, skate wing comes in all different shapes and sizes. This one's about a six ounce piece. Uh, I'm going to get it nice and crispy on one side, flip it and get it nice and crispy on the other side. So like I said, about five to six minutes per side. All right, going to flip this over. And as you can see, got a nice fried crumb on there. Nice coating, a little bit missing here and there. That's because skate it bows up a little bit as it cooks, but oh, let me get that out of there. But it's nice and it's gonna get a nice coating on that side now. And there you have it, fried skate wing. Very simple, very straightforward. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. And please buy some skate because it is a delicious, delicious fish and I'm going to enjoy this. Take care.